Okay, so we're going to start with our setup. You can't see my feet at the moment, but they are facing forward and they're parallel, so underneath the hips. So our shoulders are back and down. We've got our shoulders over hips, hips over knees, knees over ankles, and our ears over our shoulders. So we're really sort of pulling up tall, lengthening back, and that chin, we don't want it stuck out, so we're nice. Nice and aligned. And we're gonna take a nice deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. And that out breath is like you're breathing in a mirror and you're really trying to steam the mirror up. So with the breath, we want it to come from here, not just the back of the throat. So that noise is a bit over exaggerated, but just get that feeling in your tummy. And we're trying to expand the ribs front, back and sides. So don't just breathe with your belly. Let the whole rib cage uh, expand and squeeze. It's like a balloon breathing, filling with air and then squeezing the balloon. Lovely. A couple more breaths like this, really long, a bit longer than normal, so maybe four, five, six, in and out, whatever works for you. One last nice long breath. And then let's just have normal breath. But thinking still about engaging our tummy muscles. So the last few weeks we've talked about this TVA muscle, which is the one which is underneath the sort of superficial muscles. So if you're not sure, sort of stick your fingers in the knee around your hips. If you have a little cough, <coughs> you can feel it sort of flatten. That's that TVA. So you can tense that, you can do it yourself. That's what I mean when I say engage the TVA. That's the one we want to squeeze. So even though I'm just standing here, I'm squeezing the tummy. So it's taking some effort. Also, pelvic floor runs underneath. It's like you're holding in a wee. So just a bit of engagement there, squeezing the TVA, trying to work like that all the time. Let's have a little sway side to side just to get our feet nice and grounded. So we're just stopping in the centre, lovely, a little sway back and forth, just feeling the weight distribute differently in the front and the back of the foot and then just try and find somewhere nice and central, let those toes lift and spread out, lovely, let's have the palms facing the front, breathing in, on the out breath let's tuck that chin in, lengthen the back of the neck, breathe in, lift, breathe out, lower, Breathe in, lift. Next time we breathe in and lift, start to think about lifting the chest. So we're increasing the space between the ribs and the hips. So we're lifting up and then down. And then breathe in, lift. And down. Then let's take those arms up, lift, stretch the tummy and down. And lift. And down. I'm going to swing all the way down. And again. And again. One more, nice big floppy swing, eyes to the knees, and back to centre, lovely. Let's warm up the neck a little bit, so a little circle with that nose. So we've got a few new exercises to do today, normal stuff, just a bit, a bit different. Let's change direction. Lovely, then let's take the ear to the shoulder and change. So, something I've been thinking about, the ear to shoulder stretch when we hold it, I'm going to slightly change it. It's something I did the other day and it really helps, or somebody I saw do, and I thought, oh, that really helps. So when you hold your ear to the shoulder on the right, and we take these two fingers, instead of thinking of just pulling this ear down, think of your two fingers grabbing this ear and pulling it up, like someone's grabbed you by your ear and is pulling you up. And you really kind of get that stretch more in the neck than just trying to take the ear to the shoulder. So you can grab your ear if it helps visually, just don't hurt yourself. But sort of feel that you're pulling your ear up and you get a really lovely stretch in that neck. This hand can still push down. I can feel it so much more than I could with the two fingers pushing down. So it's just a feeling of real lengthening. I've sort of just got the finger hooked in my ear and found the easiest way to do it. Lovely, and release, lovely. So we're gonna do that on the other side. So again, it's this ear, we're kind of lifting it up and really feel the ear going upwards and then this shoulder going down. Get a nice stretch. I get so much more in it. Oh, that feels nice. Oh, lovely, let's release that neck. Oh, nice. So elbows in at the waist, 
and again let's really feel this collarbone sort of smiling and opening so your elbows are back here and you're going to open the hands out that's going to open up the chest and pull your shoulders back so it's like somebody's grabbed you from behind grabbed your shoulders and is pulling them backwards so it's just small you're not squeezing the shoulder blades together it's the tops of the shoulders pulling back like you're lifting your chest up a little bit and we use breath so leading back imagining you're carrying that heavy tray of drinks this is your dumb waiter stretch and really lead with the thumb squeeze back breathe in and out and in as a reach reach and then out again think of that balloon filling up and then breathe out squeeze that tummy TBA, squeezing that as well, squeezing the pelvic floor. So small arm exercise, but everything is working. One more. Lovely, release. Hands to here. And we're gonna do our usual, I'm slightly chopping my arms off a bit. Just push down, again, nice and level, keeping everything nice and still, and rotate back. So shoulders down, so this time, as if someone's got their hands on your shoulders and is pushing down. And breathe in, breathe out. And we don't want the ribs to get involved with this. So when we take the hands back, we stop. Don't lift up the chest because we're trying to get mobility in the shoulders and not let the spine get involved. Let's do one at a time. Push down to the right. Let's add a head and centre. Breathing in, breathing out. Again, squeeze that tummy, squeeze the pelvic floor. So you can always be working even though you're not moving the rest of your body. You've still got to use those core muscles to hold yourself upright. So if you squeeze them in, they're going to be working all the time, not just when we're doing our ab work. Lovely. Hold here. And release. Let's have the hands to the side, a little side bend and gently reach. Lovely, and centre. Again, squeeze the tummy, slide the hand down. So if you need to with this, you can always support yourself with your arms on your waist, if that's any sort of feeling, any twinging in that back. If you want to add on, you can take the hands here. Elbows are back though. Squeeze, reach, lovely, centre, gently tip. Keep the elbows back. So we're opening up the chest as well as getting a nice bend, warming up that spine. I'm going to add on again slightly, just add the top arm and reach and change. And then can we add two arms together? I've linked my fingers and just tip side to side, tip. And then tip, you can just about see me when I bend enough. Lovely tip. This time I'm going to involve the hips. So hold here and then push those hips out as well. So you're really folding in half. Try and keep this arm back up here by your ear so you don't rotate. Lovely. Change sides. In the middle. Tip to the side. Push the hips and get a lovely bend. Well done. Oh. And release. Good, let's warm up these wrists because we've got a little bit of work on the hands. So circling the wrists around. And the other way. Lovely. And then let's bring those wrists together. A little circle of eight, figure of eight. Can't do a circle of eight. Otherwise it'd be a circle. Let's take these arms out to the side and we're going to flip them up and down. Just get these shoulders warm, get the wrists warm. Hold them up and little circles back. For two, for three, for four, five, six, seven, eight. Flip the hands down, forward, one, and two, and three. Shoulders down, four, five, six seven and eight, lovely. Just want to do a little rotation, so a little bend in the knees, very slight. Hands on the chest and twist, so keep your hips forward. 
So it's really small. You can see I'm not moving much. There's not that much rotation in the upper body. Keeping your chin in line with your watch or where your wrists have crossed if you don't have a watch on. And centre. And twist. So as you twist, keep your hip pushing forward. Go against it. Adding on the arm. Twist and reach and add the head. Breathing in. Breathe out. Close to centre. Breathe in. Twist and reach. Breathe out. Close and centre. And breathe in, twist and reach, and follow the fingers, shoulders down, squeeze that tummy, squeeze that pelvic floor, and centre, wonderful. Okay, so I'm going to, um, we're going to do some roll downs, so usual thing, trying to keep your hips here, trying not to fold in half, but you're trying to fold so you're not hinging at the hips. And I want to really round the back and stretch the shoulders before we lean down. So I'll do a few stands in, then I'll adjust the position so you can see me on the floor. But hips underneath you, feet underneath you, breathing in. Breathe out, chin down, and then round the shoulders, scoop the belly, chin is tucked in, stretch those arms. Feel the back stretching all the way down the back. Head is relaxed. And you're curling down, curling down. And then once you get to a certain way, then you'll start to engage the back of the legs. Breathing in at the bottom, breathing out, coming back up. And imagining the spine is stacking back on top of each other, each vertebra, keeping the weight central to front of the feet. Lovely. Continue with this. I'm going to adjust my... might do is that perfect look at that space so once you roll down a couple more times you just come to the knees push back on these feet tucking them under so you're stretching out your feet And then we can release the feet and sit back. So I'm going to do a little stretch for the front of the ankles. So on the knees. And we're just, there's not too much weight in the hands. I'm just leaning on the fingertips. It's not really leaning back. I'm very gently going to lift one knee just an inch. Just so you feel the stretch in the front of your ankle under here. Don't lift it quickly or too fast. Because it might hurt and you don't want to hurt yourself. Just gently lift the other one. Very small, it's just stretching the ankle. We always flex the feet, but not often the other way. Gentle, once more each side. Last time, other leg. Ooh, lovely. And then we'll just sit forward into child pose and rest. Let those shoulders slump down, head relax. Lovely. So a little bit of um, shoulder opening. I'm going to do some more shoulder opening on all fours. We're just doing a very quick one today in this position. I'm going to do eight on each side and then I'm going to leave more till later on. So fingertips to the uh, temples and open up and close. So rotate, look one way and the other way. And close. Ow, I've got cramp in my foot. Open up and close. Lovely. Breathing in and out. And in and out. In and out. One more. And then switch sides. I've just tucked my feet under. There's a lot of cramp in my foot. And close and open up. And close and open up. Oh, that's better. Breathing into it. Hips are still, it's a rotation in the upper body. Two more. One more. Lovely stuff. 
Okay. So I'm going to do the one we did last week, which is again to really strengthen this multifidus. So we're on all fours, we'll do a little cat stretch to start with. So when you're on all fours, you're in a box and you want nice strong shoulders away from the ears and pull the hands apart slightly as it engages the shoulder area. Breathing in, lift the chin, lift the chest and arch the back and then breathe out round the lower back, suck the belly in and just looking underneath. So your shoulders aren't moving, they stay away from your ears the whole time, your hands pull apart the whole time, so a nice strong position, pull that belly in. Breathe in, let that tummy stretch, breathe out, again, squeeze the pelvic floor, squeeze the TVA, suck your belly button right up towards the spine. One more, breathing in, and out, and sit back. We can open the knees and just stretch through. Okay, so last week, oh yeah, we'll do this one first. So this is, normally we would do an arm and a leg lift, but what I want to do is just an arm and leg lift like this. So the hand lifts an inch and the knee lifts an inch, but there's no extension. And this is just going to really work this multifidus muscle that is basically, is stabilises all the joints in the spine, very important. So lifting your right hand, lifting your left knee and you just hold here so you've got to squeeze the tummy pushing the heel of the hand into the floor feel the shoulder nice and strong breathe squeeze that tummy and release so we hold each side for five to ten seconds lift the left hand lift the right knee and you keep nice and still so you're squeezing that tummy so that you're balancing you want it wants to wobble we have to keep it Nice and central. It's kind of taking the leg extension one back to basics. Lovely. Train sides again. Lifting the left knee and the right hand. Again, nice and strong in the shoulders. Squeeze the tummy. And release. Let's do last time. Left hand, right leg. Holding it here. Trying to keep nice and central. Squeeze the tummy. And release, lovely. Let's give these wrists a little rest as well. Okay, so last week we were on all fours and then we were taking back one leg and we were opening up sideways. So this week I want to do the opposite. I want to take the leg back and I want to open up the other way. That's so really going to challenge the, the uh, shoulders. What, we're going to do a few of these and I'm going to add on, so come back to centre. So just to do that again, we're going to take the left leg back, again strong arms, pull those shoulders apart a little bit. Take the leg back and then go towards, so you're opposite your legs, so you're not opening your hips, you're crossing your hips and open. So you really feel this more in your shoulders and come back. Let's go again, so left leg goes back, right leg goes back and left arm opens up so you're in a different position to how we were before so rather than twisting opening up to the side we're crossing over the body lovely let's go again left leg goes back open up to the right that's a nice twist and it challenges the body come back and rest good so what i'd like to do is just stay on one side give your wrist a rest but I'm going to do a little needle thread through so that looks like if I do it left leg back first I'm going to open up to the right and I'm going to thread through so we get this open and then open up again open and thread through if that's too much on your wrist just come back to all fours and just keep one arm open and thread it through. But if you can, have the leg back as well. Open up, thread it through, a little bend of this arm as we come down, open up. So real twisting in the body, the lower back's getting involved and come through and open up. And come through, let's hold the open up, hold it up, hold, 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 thread through. 
Push down. Lovely. And then release. We are going to switch sides. So I'm going to take the right leg back. Right leg stays back the whole time. And I'm going to open up the left arm. Open up. And thread through. And open up. And thread through. And open. Lovely. And thread through. And open. And thread through. This time hold it open. Open, 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 thread through, push down and hold, hold. Oh, lovely. Let's just come back to child pose, give these wrists a rest, and take them behind you, relax. Good. Just a little different way of doing what we did last week, lovely. So a little bit of a, um, I want to use the ball to open up the chest. If you don't have a ball, I'll show you how to do it with a towel. Same principle. Grab yourself a towel. It's this big, probably fold it in half and then roll it. It's just so you've got something to lean on, basically. So the bigger the towel, the more you're going to get. If you've got a towel, it's going to sit on your bottom. And you're basically just going to have it under your shoulders so that you can lean back over it. If you have a ball, same thing, the ball is on your shoulder blades. Your hands are here supporting the head. And we just gently lean back a little bit, see how you feel. And then maybe release. Release a bit more. If you're comfortable, take it to the floor. Again, work at your level. Make sure your head is not tipped back. You have supported it. If you're comfortable getting your head on the floor, great. If not, support it. And once your head's on the floor, you might find you can move around a bit. The more the ball goes down your back, the more you're arching the mid, the lower back. So we're trying to really open the upper back here. So try not to go down too far. Just sort of between the shoulder blades, near the rib cage is fine. Just feeling it relaxing down. Just opening up that chest. And then gently coming up, let's release. Let's move the ball out of the way or your towel out of the way. So a little bit of work for the um, waist. So we're sitting up tall, so this is our uh, new S curve. So then create a C curve and lean back a little bit. And then come back up. Really important to keep your feet grounded. If you start to lift your toes, you're gonna engage these muscles. This has to be relaxed, it's all coming from here. So it's just like you're gonna roll back down, but you don't, and then you come up. Just keep your toes down. If you find your toes are starting to lift, don't go back so far. So we're gonna find a position that's comfortable to hold. Arms are out in front. Like a bow and arrow, you just pull one arm back and look back, follow the elbow, and come back. So we stay here. The back is rounded into a C curve. You don't want to be arched, you've got to tuck in. Other arm, reach back, and in, and pull back, and in, and back, and in, and back. So the further you're leaning back, the harder it's going to be. As long as you can control it, your legs are totally relaxed, your toes are relaxed, you don't want to be gripping the floor. You should be soft here. It should all be in the tummy. One more. And let's come back up, lovely. Okay, so I want to try, it's a sort of combination. It's a combination of side leg lifts, a combination of planks and a combination of the oyster that we're gonna build up. So to start with, I've got my hand palm up. I'm just gonna lie down, it's gonna disappear in my hand. And I'm lying, Aligned with the back of my mat, and then I bring my feet forwards. 
so that I'm slightly banana shaped so I won't roll over. And have your feet stacked and your hips stacked and pull your tummy in. And we're just going to start off gently with a leg lift. Try not to grip that underneath foot and use it as a break. Squeeze the tummy, small leg lift. This is where we're going to start today. And you're pulling underneath here as if the floor is hot and you're trying to pull up. So we're just going to keep building. I'll give different options. Lovely. Not going to add the arms today, kind of different. So what I'd like to try and do is lift both legs. It's only small lift and lower. So try not to push on this hand, lift. So you've just got to really use these muscles here, lift the legs. It's not high, you won't get the legs too high. Mine are probably two, three inches, very small. You can have your hand here, or you can have it here, but try not to push onto it. So you're trying to keep yourself nice and level. Just a small lift. And lower, relax in the neck, squeeze the tummy, so your palm is face up, so you're not pushing on it on the floor, and lower, and it's your tummy, squeeze that P T V A. squeeze the pelvic floor, it's very small, but we're engaging all these muscles to get those legs lifted, lovely, lift the legs and hold, I'm just going to lift and lower the top leg, if you need to keep both legs down, just go back to the single leg lift, or if you can lift both up, just lift the top leg up, and down, so you're starting to feel it more in the waist, a little bit into that leg. Lift, and if you need to fingertips for balance, that's fine. Lift, and no, it's not a high lift, it's just a small lift. Think of extending, the leg moving is trying to challenge the balance. It's the back where we're trying to work here, and the core, and the waist. Lovely. Good, one more. So bring the knees in, sort of 90s, not quite 90 degrees, more 45 degrees, 45, 45. We're gonna do a few of these hip openers and then I'm gonna sort of add some bits on. We're gonna keep the knees down on this one because we're gonna sit ourselves up in a minute, slightly different position. And again, it's very much the weight, the knees are down, so we don't want to be rolling back. Keep ourselves forward, it's lovely. Three more. Two. And one. So unless you've got any elbow problems or shoulder problems, we want to try and come up with the arm, which should be okay here. Again, keeping your arm over your elbow, so you haven't got it in, but it's not too far away. Same thing. So you've got to pull up here, so it's like your waist is lifted you don't want to sink so lift up so you're already engaging open and close the knee same thing just a different way of doing it lovely so i'd like to add this top arm on again these are all optional so you can keep the hand down can we open the arm and open the leg so it's just a bit of coordination and again it's keeping it still so you don't let your arm roll you back so the body stays still, we're just extending. So this is working our glutes here, and we're just really opening up the arm. Nothing much to this. And again, keep lifted, easy to sink. But again, you could stay on the floor in this one. Good, let's do two more here, and I'm gonna take it up another level. Again, it's optional. Wonderful. So, what I wanna try and do, in fact, before I take it up any further, we're going to do this threading through again. So pulling up, open the arm, keep the knees still for a moment, thread through, and open up. So it's not too much, not too difficult. It's going to prep us for the next move. Thread through, and this is also something we can come back to. Thread through. Next time we do this, we're going to be lifting the hips, so this is kind of a warm up, really working that waist today. One more, and we're here. Good. So, this time I want to lift the hips up so we're in a plank. Same exercise open and close, open and close, and open. It's quite a lot on this shoulder, and close. See how it feels? Take the hips down if you need to, open and close. One more open 
and close. Open, hold it up, thread through. Keep your knee open and lift. Keep that knee open. Thread through and lift. Two more. Thread through. You should feel this shaking in that waist. One more. I can really feel it. Keep this lifted. Thread through. Oh, Ooh, surprising. That gets you. Bring your knees in towards you. The hand that you're lying on, just push yourself up. Grab your legs and just reach that arm up and over. If you can't do that, just cross-legged and reach over, it's fine. You just want to stretch the waist. The side you've been leaning on, you want to stretch. So however you can get that. Good one, that, isn't it? I like that. Just adding stuff on, changing it up a bit. Oh, lovely. Let's change sides. So we're going to start with lining ourselves up on the back of our mat. Feet on top of each other. Palm up. And then we'll bring the feet to the front corner, so you've got a nice banana shape. Pull up underneath, doesn't matter if you can't lift, but imagine that that floor is hot, so you're trying to lift up. This means you engage a bit more, neck is long, relax the feet, just lift and lower. Again, hand can be here, hand can be here, but don't roll and don't push onto it, just gently with the fingertips. Relax the underneath foot. Just take a few to get into this. Lifting and lowering, lovely. And lengthen that leg and lift. So it's about lengthening rather than height. And it's about keeping this shape, this gap underneath here, keeping it a bit tight. Squeeze the tummy, squeeze the pelvic floor when you lift. So you have a little squeeze. So everything's working, breathe in. It's easier to squeeze your pelvic floor on your TVA when you breathe out. So I tend to breathe in, prepare. Breathe out, squeeze and lift. Lovely, two more. Keep your neck relaxed and looking straight forward. Lovely, we're going to do the double leg lift. Again, it's optional, double legs. Kind of have to shuffle around a bit to get yourself there. I tend to find not so banana shape when I lift two legs, but maybe that's just me. Works better bit being a bit straighter, but as long as I'm squeezing the tummy, not gripping with this hand, relax, the feet are relaxed, neck is relaxed. If you're aligned, you shouldn't roll forward or backwards, squeeze that tummy. Hold both legs up, just lift and lower the top leg. Again, you can have the feet down if you want and just lift and lower, or you're lifting both. This is really challenging, the leg, the waist. That's why when we lift up into that plank, it suddenly tires quite quickly. Lift and breathe and lower. And lift and squeeze, breathe out. One more. Lovely. Bring those knees in. Not quite 90, just before that. And we open and close. Again, it's just waking up this glute, getting a bit of mobility in the hips, strengthening these muscles without rolling back. Lovely. And for four, three, two, one. Let's come up onto this elbow. And again, we want to have the elbow right underneath the shoulder and lift up here. So we're squeezing under here. Let's just open and close the leg. Open and close without rolling back. Open and close. I'm going to have my arm up, I think. Because we're going to add on in a moment, we're going to add the arm and the leg. So let's take the arm down. And lift. So it's like they're connected. Arm lowers, leg lowers, arm lift, leg lift. Again, you can do this not, you could do it on the floor, you don't have to be up on the elbow. This is putting more weight in the shoulder. It's making this underneath work harder. Lift up. Two more. Then we do the thread through without the hip lift. So that means just lift here. Lift the arm, keep your hips and knees down, just thread through, rotate, so warming us up for what's to come. Breathe in, open, breathe out, squeeze the tummy, pull it in and rotate. So squeeze the pelvic floor, squeeze the TVA, rotate. Keep lifting through the shoulder, lifting through the waist. Two more. That's nice and controlled. One more. So we're going to go up a level, again you can stay there, but, oh, my hair's getting in my own nose, right, lift the hips, 
and we're here, we're going to open and close the knee. So open and close the knee, then you can stay down and close. We've only got four and then we thread through, open, don't rotate back, squeeze the tummy, squeeze under here, lift up. Breathe, breathe out, one more. Take it up and we thread through, lower the hips if you need to, thread through, just keep that knee open and breathe. And um, rotate and breathe. Keep that knee up. Rotate. One more. Ooh, lower those hips. Bring the knees in. Push on the hand that you're leaning on. Grab that leg. Ooh, that's hard. Lovely stuff. A lot for the waist. We're going to do some more stuff for the waist now. I'm going to face you, I've got enough room, my time is whizzing by again. So again, this is for the spine, but it's also for the waist, yep, yeah, you can see me. This time, I'm going to be on my elbows again, so not on the elbows tonight. If you're getting any neck pain or it's tensioned, you can do this on the floor. But being up protects the lower back a little bit, so sometimes we're going to lift both legs. If you do do it with the head down, maybe at some point pop your hands underneath just to sort of force that lower back into the floor. We really want to control it if possible. So in this position, I'm going to turn here, otherwise I'm going to whack the cupboard. So we start off with pull the tummy in, so you're doing a little sort of tilt, pelvic tilt, don't sink in the shoulders, try and lift up. Lift one leg, lift the other leg. Take your arm legs to the side. So nice, easy, gentle. You can take them as far as you can control. So again, you can do this on the floor with your head and shoulders down. Pull the tummy in back. It's only sort of the tailbone into the floor when you're sitting up like this. You should feel this in your tummy. I'm going to slightly add on. Again, you can stay here, get to the side, extend, and bend, and come back. Don't worry if you don't get those legs straight. You could even just do one leg. Extend, oh, mind you, furniture. Got so much more space this way around. Lengthen. I not believe I haven't this before. And close, good. And lengthen. Then the next time, take it and hold. Push up in those shoulders. Hold. Four, three, two, one. Bend, come back. And extend and hold. Four, three, two, one. Lovely. Release for a minute. Relax. So I'm going to do now with straight legs. Instead of kind of side to side, I'm going to do a full circle. I'll show you what I mean. Trying not to chop my feet off of any of my furniture edges. You could stay with that, so you can stay with side, extend, but you can take the legs out, you can go down and round, all the way up. You can make your circle small, or you can go down and round, really see how your back feels, feeling quite heavy. Again, you could probably do this with bent legs as well, if that's a little bit less stress on the back. Again, you could do this lying down, put your hands underneath. One more. Let's switch direction, so round, so it's your abs that are doing this, remember make your circles what's comfortable for you, you don't have to be this big, two more circles, oh I can feel that, one more, lovely stuff, bring the knees in onto the back, Bring your right knee in, keep your left leg down, just circle that knee round and change. And put that down, bring the other knee in and circle it round and change direction. Lovely. Then I'm going to bring my right knee in, lengthen the left leg all the way down and just pull that leg in. Lengthen in this one. Neutral spine, so don't have your back into the floor, lengthen away. 
Relax the neck and shoulders, go a little look side to side. Lovely. Switch sides, left knee in, lengthen the right leg away again, shoulders relax, a little gap under the back. You'll do some bridge work in a minute. I will use the ball to put between our knees. You can use a towel. What I'll make sure is that we've all got balls so we can all do a ball class. I can post one out. I'll send you a link. They're like one pound eighty on Amazon. You could use an old football if you've got a kid's ball. Anything as long as it's a little bit squidgy. And then we can lie on it and it creates a bit of imbalance, just like we do in class. Right, we're going to do some that. So hold on to the knee you've got. Lift the head and shoulders up, pressing the lower back into the floor. Lift this leg up. We're going to switch. Press the back into the floor, squeeze the tummy, switch legs. Breathe in, breathe out, switch. A bit quicker, breathe in, switch, pull, pull. Breathe in, switch. Breathe in. Try not to get any stress on your neck. So don't have your chin up in the air. You want to have your head forward, but try not to lift too much. You can stay here. One more. Good. And release. Similar exercise. Let's have the legs straight and do the same exercise. Going to scissor the legs. Don't worry if they're a little bit bent. But try not to pull on the back of the knee because that will encourage bending. So I'm going to drop one leg, lift the head and shoulders up, and we switch. So you can make a big switch and split the legs, or you might keep it small, whatever works. You can grab the legs to kind of hold you up, take that pressure off your neck. Double pull, double breath. Squeeze the tummy in, don't let it bunch together, pull it flat. In, in, or activate your TVA. Three and two and one. Release. We're going to do similar exercise. We're going to hold it up. Right leg up, left leg down. Lift yourself up. And then we are going to have the hands to the side. Reach this hand up and back. Have the other hand to the tempo actually. Reach up and back. This leg can be on the floor if you want and it can be bent if you want or have them in the air. Reach across and down. Reach across. Reach to the outside of the leg. Pull that tummy in. Squeeze that pelvic floor. Squeeze that TBA. Hold it up and pulse for two, for three, for four, for five, six, seven, eight. Hold the last eight, seven, six. Add the other arm. Five, Four, three, two, and one. We're going to switch. So I've basically got one elbow on the floor. Oh, I haven't got the space here, but my arm's going to be reaching across. So left leg up, right leg out, either on the floor or lifted. Again, as straight as you can, back into the floor. And reach, and down, and reach, and down, and reach. So this elbow is on the floor, supporting me. Pull that tummy in, don't let it bunch up. It's better to be small, make it a small movement. You've only really just got to lift that right shoulder off and reach. Four more. Three more. Two more. One more. Pulse for eight, for seven, for six, for five, for four, for three, for two, for one. Hold it still. Eight, seven, and that other arm. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Release. Well done. Woo. Lengthen the legs. Stretch those arms. Stretch that tummy. Good. Lovely stuff. We do a little bit of bridge work. Work this lower back. Now I'm going to have the ball in between the knees so that we squeeze. And again, it can be a towel. It's fine. Or a small cushion. Whatever you've got that you can't drop it. Squeeze it with your knees. It means the knees don't fall out, and it means we're engaged with the inner side. So we're in neutral, you've got your gap under the floor. Draw your ribs down towards your hips slightly and engage that TDI, and it will slightly change shape. It means you just draw down a little bit towards the floor. You're not flattening, you're not doing a pelvic tilt, but you're drawing down. Again, clock circle here. So 12 o'clock is the tip of our tailbone. So if you push to 12 o'clock, you get a big arch. And then if you push to 6 o'clock, 
you're right up to your rib cage and you're flat and you've almost lifted the tailbone off. So that's the extreme of these two ends. Back to centre and you've got your hip this side and you've got your hip that side. Let's do a circle, so I'm going to the tailbone. Six and then round to three, up, that was 12, sorry, up to six, round to nine, back down to 12. So keep doing this nice circular motion just sort of trying to visualise your back as those sort of four points. Let's reverse. So we're going up towards anti-clockwise, up towards nine o'clock. <laughs> and then the other ones, the other numbers. Just visualise that clock. That's what I should be doing, so I can't seem to count clock numbers. Just do a circle. Lovely stuff. Back in the centre. So now we're going to get ready to lift. Breathe in. Breathe out, flatten the back and push from 12 all the way to 6 o'clock and then peel off. The shoulder blades stay down, the neck is long, let's have the elbows, palms facing each other, fingers up and that just keeps us grounded, not pressing into the elbows but they're here, squeeze the ball or your towel. Breathe in at the top and roll down, so start to tip your hips in the air so you get to 12. Six. <laughs> Six o'clock. You lot got no hope. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Okay, breathe in, breathe out. Press the lower back, the tailbone, all the way up to number six. And then peel off, squeeze in the bottom. Lovely stuff. You know what I mean. Squeeze in with the bum, but not pushing with the ribs. Ribs are always drawing down to your hips. Squeeze that tummy, squeeze that pelvic floor, roll down. Give the pelvic floor squeeze, breathe in, breathe out, and again. And roll down, really feeling, it's not just the backs of the legs working, it's the sides. If you really squeeze your bottom, squeeze the knees, that should help your backs of your legs from hurting too much. I'm just going to take the arms off, reaching up, this is taking away your balance, and continue, keep the arms down if you wish, just make sure you squeeze your bottom and don't press your ribs up into the air, try not to grip with your feet, really curl that back, lift that spine, lovely, one more, lift up, rolling down, wonderful, Release the ball, let's bring the knees into the chest. Good, good, good. Roll around. I'll do some nice stretches and then some more stretches on the floor. So last time we ran out of time. Generally bring yourself up to sitting. I'll do a couple of stretches up. Sitting up. So, usually we have the legs out straight. And we bring the right heel into the thigh but what I want to do is sit with the feet apart as much as you're comfortable with and if it's really not happening legs back in having your right heel into your thigh but your legs are in a v-shape instead then the same hand I know I'm doing my opposite to you this is your this is looks like my left but just copy me don't worry same hand as me reach back Reach up and over, this hand can slide down the leg. And you're getting this nice stretch all the way down here into that hip. Ooh, holding here and just relaxing into it each time, sinking a bit more. Finding that space and stretching into it. You can always go a bit more than you think, gently, gently. Then we're going to rotate so the chest is facing the leg. Again, if it's too much, just bring your leg over a bit. Otherwise, you've got a lot of nice space to reach forward. Stay there. <laughs> The song, song is 10 minutes long, so it's a nice one to chill out to. Stretches and relaxation, reaching, relaxing. 
getting a little bit further. Breathing, finding that space. Lovely. Bringing the legs up. Change side, other leg into the thigh. Same arm as leg turn and look behind you. And this hand I'm kind of using just to get a nice little twist and then reach up and over. So the stretch is all down here. And it's quite intense, it is for me anyway. I feel this on very tight. It always gets achy there. So I like this stretch and it takes a while to get into it, but just reaching over as if you were trying to sort of draw a rainbow and your hand was coming down to your foot. Just relaxing into it, breathing into it. And then gently let's turn to face the leg. So the chest is here. Again, bring the leg across if that's uncomfortable, lovely, reaching forward. One side is often more flexible than the other. I'm certainly more flexible this way. Challenge yourself a bit. Breathe into it. Lovely. Let's lie down onto our back. So we'll do a little bit of opening up that back and our glutes. So I'm going to cross one leg over the knee, pick the legs up, bring them in, feeling the stretch in the outside of the leg that you've got across you. Relaxing your neck and shoulders, little look side to side. And then I'm going to put the foot down, hands down, let those legs gently fall over. Just getting that lovely stretch, similar stretch to what we've just done in the same sort of area in the back and the hips, just where we need it. You can look the other way if you can get your shoulders down and your neck is comfortable with that. Gently back to centre, let's keep the ankle fixed to that knee, but bring those legs up and let them fall the other way, gently, gently. Changing the stretch, ooh, to the front of that hip. And looking over that shoulder. Lovely, let's come back to centre, let's change sides, so other leg, ankle across the knee, lift it up. And even with these balls, especially when you take your legs over to one side, you can always sort of use them to help you. If your legs don't easily go to the floor, it sort of kind of just acts as a bit of support. So you don't always have to be using them for balance. They can be comfort as well. Lovely, let's take the foot down, let the legs go over. So you might want to have it just to give you a bit of support with that knee. And look the other way, probably when it goes the other way, to be honest. You may not need it, but use the things you have around you to make you comfortable. Gently, gently, let's change sides. So this side especially, the legs are quite heavy, it's quite a pull. So here you might find that that feels a bit more comfortable if you pop your ball underneath. It just supports you gently while you sort of gently come into it rather than just pulling those legs over, they're quite heavy. Shoulders down, looking the other way. Lovely, coming back to centre, bring those feet in. So, another stretch I wanna do. Bring your knees both into your chest, Again, have a little rock side to side. And this is where you sort of rock in between the hips at the back. So it sort of goes to three, three o'clock and nine o'clock. That's so those hip bones. That's what you can feel in the back. 
Lovely. So bring your knees open as much towards your sort of armpits as you can. And then you might find you can grab a leg and you just pull your legs down towards so you get in a nice ladylike position, but it's really nice for stretching out your adductors. If you can reach your feet, you can pull them down. So it's easy to have your feet here and grab them and then open them up. But you might just find pulling on them here, grabbing the ankle, but it's a really nice opening up of the hips, stretches the adductor. It's actually a yoga pose called Happy Baby, but it does feel nice, really opens the hips. And you can push, pull down with those hands on the heels and get that lovely stretch. Few more seconds. <sighs> lovely stuff, release. Let's find a comfortable position, a little bit of relaxation. So just let yourself lie in a position that's comfortable for you. If you're on a hard floor like I am, sometimes I find the knees bent, the feet on the floor is more comfortable for me. Or you can have your feet on a small pillow, or have a pillow under your knees, whatever works for you. Close the eyes. Just let your breathing be natural to you. And let's just think of some tension in the toes. Squeeze the toes and the knuckles. Breathing in, breathe out, let those feet go. And then we can flex the ankles, feeling tension in the front and the back of the ankles. Breathing in, breathe out, release. Then feel tension in the legs and the thighs and the knees and the bottom. Breathe in, breathe out, release. Then feeling tension in the tummy, in the pelvic floor, up towards the shoulders. Shrug those shoulders, breathing in. Breathe out, release. And then from the shoulders down to the fingers, stretching those arms, stretching those fingers, breathing in, breathe out, let the arms relax. Then making a fist with the hands, tension in the joints and the knuckles, breathe in, breathe out, release, shake out any tension. And then your faces, close your eyes tightly, close the mouth tightly. Breathing in, breathe out, release. One more time, head to toe, giving everything a squeeze. Breathe out, release. Spend a moment here relaxing. just starting to prepare yourself for standing the body is nice and relaxed and energized breathing in the oxygen giving you energy giving you life you can gently wiggle the toes the fingers you can twitch the nose roll the eyes around roll the tongue around the teeth circle the wrists circle the ankles and then let's take a full body stretch. And then bring your knees into your chest one at a time. Don't want that one. And have a little rock from side to side. And then roll over onto your right. Tucking the feet under, pushing back. Slowly standing. I'm curling. I'm going to sort of squat down, otherwise you're not going to see me. I'm going to stay on my knees so you can see me. You guys can stand up. <laughs> Breathing in once we're up at the top. And another breath. 
One more. Take the arms back. And give yourselves a clap. Thank you so much.